on the edge. We're living on the edge. Actually, we're living like in a volcano right now. It's like way overdue to like blow up when Yellowstone blows. We're all a bunch of goners. That's what Jude tells me. Something like that. We'll disintegrate or something, you know. <laughs> and we're all gonna disintegrate into ash. We'll be dead. That's what he tells me. Dude, super, super fun guy. <laughs> Controlled, who knows? Look at the light coming through there. You should let me stop and take a photo, honey. No stopping on roadway. Why are you gonna be a rule follower? Rules save lives. Look, there's a that's another fire right there. That's a different one, right? Look at the sun up there. Y'all look out the window, you can see the sun. I want to take the tent off this window before we head out next year. This is full honky. Because the road's open. Yeah. Look up there. Actual fire right there, guys. We're driving a lot in the Oh my goodness, you can actually see the fire, y'all. Me too, me too. Oh, no fire. That is really thick smoke we are going through right now. Oh my gosh. It's right here? Why are they letting us drive through here? Is there fire right here? I think we're in. Oh my gosh, it's burning right there. Welcome to Yellowstone. Right here, guys, look. Fireman, right there, see? I said, guess what the temperature is going to be tonight? What? What? I think you already know. I don't know. You like to surprise me with these things. I, <laughs> I genuinely did not look up the weather. Shame on me. So I should have. The is supposed to be 25 degrees. And they gave us a nice freeze warning. Step, step through guide. We're there already. I didn't even know that it was that time. Seriously. I didn't. I swear I didn't know. It's going to drop. 50 degrees. Oopsie. Oopsie. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I did not know. I swear I didn't know on. I was a complete slacker. I did not even look it up. Oopsie is not the answer of someone that didn't know. Uh huh. Oopsie. I forgot to tell you. Oopsie. No. Oopsie. I forgot to look. Not I forgot to tell you because I didn't look. You're in such a good mood now. It's overwhelming. Aren't you excited to be at Yellowstone? Yay! It's really going to drop 50 degrees. It's going to go from 75 to 25. Is it going to rain? See, if I knew, I would know this. I see zero clouds in the skies. So. I didn't know, huh? I really didn't know. I, I'm, I'm not sneaky. I'm just a slacker. <laughs> Don't shake your head at me. <laughs> we just got to our campground. We're staying at Grizzly RV Park in West Yellowstone. And 
it's really nice here. We had to call a couple times to get reservations because they were all booked up. We have a nice little concrete pad. Do you want to go see the geyser today? Can you say geyser? Ma. Not ball. Geyser. Ma. Geyser. Ma. Can you say grand prismatic? Ma. Grand prismatic? <laughs> Can you say it? Bye-bye. Daddy. Bye-bye with daddy. <coughs> ah! Our first stop was to the visitor center where they told us that there had recently been a bear attack and we needed to go back for our bear spray. So back to the camper we went. What you got? Frontiersman bear attack deterrent. Okay, so we are at Old Faithful, but we're in within the window to see it, but actually the Grand Geyser is supposed to go off here within the next hour. So we're gonna hike out to that first, and then hopefully get next to Old Faithful, um, and back down. So hopefully we'll get to see both. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. We didn't make it over for a close-up view, but the view we did have was still spectacular. And then we got to turn around and look the other direction to see Old Faithful from a distance. Um, the Grand Geyser is the world's tallest predictable geyser. That's the one we just missed. Steamboat. Miss it? Steamboat, though, um, the world's tallest geyser is completely unpredictable. Oh. That one's in another area of the park, right? Yeah, over in Morris. Hey, Ditter. How's it going? Sitting here watching the beauty pool. Cool. It's about the same, a bit smaller. A bit smaller. Yeah. These, these two pools share this big vent. So this one is full, that one is not full. This one is more, that one is less. Gotcha. Going to Yellowstone with you is equal parts helpful because he's a lot like a tour guide uh, and also a little terrifying. He likes to remind us of all of the scary facts about Yellowstone and how it's going to blow up. That's a mini tour of what happened to Mount Mazama. It erupted and it was like this. Imagine that thing right there, which right there, that's a volcano. Puget erupted, now that's right there and that's that's um clear like you're like traveling with our own guide Jude do you know how smart you are Hello. yes, <laughs> yes.
Thankfully, we made it back over to Old Faithful in time for the next viewing, and we got to see it up close. Now uh, oh, it's starting. It's early. Here it is. Three minutes early. Here it is. We have had the longest day in Yellowstone. We are all super tired. Some of us are overtired. We want to see elk or wolves or moose. Or bears. Bears, or something. Like 35 miles We're hoping hour. to see something on the way out because um, we're tired. Field. What? Field. Oh, I'm looking in the field. What's that out there? Where? It looks like there's a herd of something out there. You see it? Yeah. Probably bison. Stupid buffalo. Bison. 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 Stupid bison. Bye, bye, bison. Yeah. We're not impressed by that. We saw a lot of bison in Texas. We were kind of over them. But we did see some elk on the way out and they were absolutely beautiful. Yesterday was kind of a hard day in the park. It was our first day in the park. But um, Zachary had a hard day. He didn't nap well. And then he got overtired and he wouldn't nap. <laughs> so um, there was lots of crying and kind of fussiness and he just wasn't having a good time. Um, we all got a little dehydrated. Jason and I were running off of just a couple of hours to sleep each and it was just kind of a hard first day. So we came home last night. Thankfully dinner was all ready to go and um, we regrouped. I went to bed at like eight o'clock and slept for 11 hours. We, everyone drank a gallon of water we nourished, we ate healthy food, and said, okay, well, we're gonna take a down day the next day, which is today. And we got up feeling much, much better. Everyone's in a happier mood today. And we decided we're gonna go back into the park. We're gonna go hike the Fairy Falls Trail to go see the upper view of Grand Prismatic today. And hopefully it'll go well. It's a little chilly. It looks like it might be raining in the park right now, so. Hopefully it'll be a better day than yesterday. Hiking the Fairy Falls Trail to be able to view Grand Prismatic from above was absolutely hands down the best decision we made in Yellowstone. What do you think? It's actually really cool. There's actually five of the pools. My favorite part was the rainbow colored steam. That was an elk. Like a male or female? That was a male. That was a male? Definitely didn't make that noise. Did you hear that? Hey Zachary, screech back at him. That was loud, y'all. Uh -uh. We heard it. <laughs> excited for today? Yes. We get to go do something we have never done or seen before. Yes, we are. We are. I'm excited. Do you even know what it's called? No. It's called Mammoth Hot Springs. And Daddy has never even heard of it. He doesn't know what to expect. Mommy's seen pictures of it before, but I'm not going to tell you about it because then it'll spoil the surprise. It's really awesome though. We're going to have a fun time adventuring today. Are you ready? Yeah.
Oh, it's kind of desert looking, isn't it? Yeah. What? On the drive over here, I saw a tree that was half dead, half alive. Oh, that's cool. I saw a tree that was twisted like a tree. Yeah. That rock is cool. Better. Are you ready? Anok people collected minerals for for a mammoth hot springs for white paint. Because really? of, so of all the minerals in it. What did they use it for? White paint. What did they paint them? After the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone, we decided to try and drive over to Norris, but the parking lot was full because it was a free day to get into the park. So instead, we decided to go back to the Grand Prismatic. So the other day, we hiked back up on that mountain to go see the Grand Prismatic above, and today we're going along the boardwalks so we can see it up close. All in all, we were in Yellowstone for about six days. We really liked staying in the west entrance as it gave us an easy in and out to the biggest attractions in the park. We really hope to return to the east entrance at some point during our travels. This trip was absolutely beautiful. We learned a lot, we saw a lot, and some of our best memories from this year were created right here in this national park.